Hey there, Cowboys fans. Tom Downey here with the latest news around the Dallas Cowboys as they have made several roster moves and some injury updates as the Cowboys get ready to travel to Baltimore to take on the Ravens on Tuesday. We'll begin with the most significant one. Zach Martin has been placed on injured reserve today, dealing with that calf injury he suffered against Washington, with the Cowboys having five games left in the season. The earliest that Zach Martin could return is for the final two games. Remember, you're placed on IR this year. Minimum three games you must miss. I am unconvinced that we're going to see Zach Martin again this season as he played very well before his injury, and even when he came back, he was playing well. The issue for the Cowboys right now is the offensive line has been decimated by injuries. You're down your all-pro left tackle. Tyler Beatish, your rookie center who had taken the job from Joe Looney when Looney himself had gotten hurt. Well, he's now on IR right now. He might come back. Zach Martin, his season might be over. Lael Collins, who had a Pro Bowl caliber year for you last year at right tackle, never actually got on the field. Four-fifths of your starting offensive line and one of your best backup tackles in Cam Irving are all hurt right now. That's not a recipe for success in the NFL. The Cowboys right now are stuck in dead last in the lowly NFC East. Depending on what happens against the Ravens, let's just say you're two games back. Maybe you're only a game back there. We'll call it a game and a half for the time being. Even with the schedule not being that difficult, I have a tough time seeing this Cowboys team legitimately even competing for an NFC East title. Yeah, you can beat the Bengals, but okay, does that really do you that much? Maybe technically you're alive in week 16. Maybe you bring back Zach Martin from that. But we've brought this up a couple of times in the show. Unless Zach Martin is a fully 100% healed, I don't want to jeopardize him when I'm actually going to be competitive next year in 2021. I say sick, sit Zach Martin for the rest of the year, but get your votes in here. Let me know what you think. This will be the pinned comment on today's video. Should Dallas sit Zach Martin for the rest of 2020? Type Y for yes or type in N for no. Now, Zach Martin was not the only player placed on injured reserve today for the Dallas Cowboys. Steven Parker is heading to IR. The Cowboys, kind of fourth string safety, who has spent time in the practice squad, got promoted. He's been placed on IR with a foot injury. I do not know if he will return to this team. And frankly, given the Hopeful additions at safety coming in the offseason. I wonder if, if we've seen the last of Parker on the Cowboys' 53-man roster. Now with two players going to IR, that opens up two roster spots on the 53-man roster. The first one shouldn't be a huge surprise. Rashard Robinson, he has been promoted to that 53-man team. He had been starting with Anthony Brown. Heard he'd been the outside corner, Jordan Lewis in the nickel. He is in line for significantly more playing time going forward. Frankly, maybe Anthony Brown comes back next week. We'll get to him in a little bit. Uh, hopefully he ends up you know, making a bit of an impact. Both those guys. Robinson's been okay, but I mean, he's clearly not as good as Trevon Dix. Also coming up to the 53-man roster, Deontay Burton, who I wonder if the Cowboys might give him some safety run because they're also dealing with injuries there. Now, Burton, I think, is more of a special teams guy. They needed that with Stephen Parker banged up. Different position. I would assume with him being activated, he will be on the game day roster. We'll see. Might be down to him or a Reggie Robinson, who we'll get to in a little bit as well. But here's where things sit right now with the depth chart. You got Chidabe Awuzie. You got Jordan Lewis. Anthony Brown is banged up. Donovan Wilson is banged up. Stephen Parker, Trevon Diggs are on IR right now. CJ Goodwin is a special teamer. I mean, with all those injuries, Deontay Burton might be your CB4 in this upcoming game, and that seems a little bit dicey if you're the Cowboys. Donovan Wilson's banged up. We'll get to him and Anthony Brown, those injury updates, in a second. But first, folks, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I was going to do a mailbag today, but we got the news out instead, so the mailbag will come out tomorrow morning. Stay tuned for that one. If you haven't already, just hit that big red button and subscribe. No one will keep you more covered on everything going on around the Cowboys this offseason than we will here at the Dallas Cowboys Report. Daily videos, mailbags, news, draft targets, free agency, all of that. We got you guys covered. So if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that big red button and subscribe today. Let's talk more injuries because, of course, for this Cowboys team, right? Anthony Brown, downgraded to out. I am actually a little bit surprised by this one. He had been limited at practice this week, and I thought that meant, okay, limited at practice, he'll be able to play. 
Apparently that's not the case. The Cowboys want to give Anthony Brown a little bit more time, which means once again the Cowboys are down two of their best corners. Of course, Trevon Diggs already on IR. Anthony Brown, he hasn't been great this year, but I like him more than Rashard Robinson and Deontay Burton. I know that's not saying a ton, but this Cowboys secondary continues to just be decimated by injuries. We'll get to the latest on Donovan Wilson in just a second. But first, folks, we do have a deal for you guys. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet and use promo code COWBOYS125. You do that, it gets you a 125% deposit bonus when you put down at least 100 bucks. And on top of that, we'll give you a Cowboys jersey as well. Limited time only, by the way. And only, of course, available for new BetUS customers. If you want that Dak Prescott jersey, head over to chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code COWBOYS125. And then email us, cowboys at chatsports.com. If you have questions or whatever, if you sign up and deposited, we'll take care of you. Just email us, cowboys at chatsports.com, and we'll get you guys squared away. Maybe the biggest player out this week in terms of the defense, because clearly Zach Martin's more important, Donovan Wilson, who has had a bit of a breakout year for the Cowboys at safety. He's got a groin injury right now. He has been ruled out. As a result, neither Donovan Wilson nor Anthony Brown will actually travel this week to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. With Wilson out, it's Darian Thompson time. And this sucks for the Cowboys because, yes, I am a member of Team Tank, but I still want to play the young guys. I think Donovan Wilson has played pretty well. Is he the best coverage safety? Eh, not always. But when there's a play to be made as of late for the secondary, seems to be Donovan Wilson is the guy, or at least near the ball. And I think that matters for Dallas. So I wanted to see Wilson keep playing. I hope he's able to return for the back quarter, I should say, of this season. Now the Cowboys are set to go on the road this week to take on the Baltimore Ravens. They are an underdog. We assume Lamar Jackson will be playing. So let me know. Predict the score of this game. Don't forget to mention which team you have winning, of course, as well. What will be the result of this one? Cowboys at the Ravens. Scroll on down and get your votes in in the comments section. Now my hope, and I am unconvinced it actually happens, but my hope this week is that with Stephen Parker on IR, Donovan Wilson hurt, Anthony Brown hurt, that the Cowboys will finally play Reggie Robinson. I know he's moved to safety, and this was going to be a redshirt year for this organization, but with the Cowboys, I think in reality, at last in the NFC East and not going to make the playoffs, treat it like the preseason. I would so much rather see Reggie Robinson play than Darian Thompson, and I know the coaching staff is trying to win games, and I know Robinson legitimately just may not be ready to be out there and you want to redshirt him treat it like the preseason you're calling up a bunch of practice squad guys to play over your fourth round pick I don't love that so if you guys are like me and you want to see Reggie Robinson out there and playing I want you guys to spam me in the comments I'm not saying start him although I'd rather start him over Donovan Wilson but if that's not the right the Cowboys want to go can we give him at least like two series just to get his feet wet, get him some experience that in theory could help you next year. And I know the argument is, oh, well, what if he's not that good? Okay, well, you played Darian Thompson for weeks over Donovan Wilson. You've lost the right as the coaching staff to tell me you're playing the best guy. I want to see Reggie Robinson. If you guys agree, type me in the comments section. 